Hello, it's Rachel here from the Flint River Aquarium and I'm sitting next to our tank in the gift shop. And you probably recognize our two little friends in our tank here. That is Nemo and Dory from the movies, Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. Now they are actually two species of fish. They are, Nemo is the clownfish and Dory is called a regal tang, blue tang. And I'm just gonna share a couple little facts about them that the movie left out. So we'll start with our clownfish or Nemo. Now clownfish are also called anemone fish and there are 30 recognized species. Most species live in shallow waters of the Indian Ocean, the Red Sea, and the Western Pacific Ocean. They are not found in the Caribbean, Mediterranean, or the Atlantic Ocean. So they're not really close to where we live. Depending on the species, clownfish are overall yellow, orange, or a reddish or blackish color, and many show bars or patches in white. In the wild, they all form symbiotic mutualisms with sea anemones. Symbiotic mutualism means that it's a relationship between two different species of animals where both of the animals benefit. So the clownfish gets something out of the relationship and then also the sea anemone gets something as well. Clownfish perform an elaborate dance with an anemone before taking up a residence, gently touching its tentacles with different parts of their bodies until they are acclimated to their host. A layer of mucus on the clownfish's skin makes it immune to the anemone's lethal sting. In exchange for safety from predators and food scraps, the clownfish drives off intruders and cleans its host from by removing parasites. All clownfish are hermaphrodites, which means that they are all born male and have the ability to turn themselves into females. But once they change into a female, they cannot go back to being male. These social fish live in groups that are led by one dominant female, which is the largest fish in the group. The second largest fish is the dominant male, while all the other fish in the group are the smaller males. If the female dies, the dominant male will become the female to replace her and the largest of the smaller males will become the dominant male in the group. Now that was a couple stuff about our clownfish. We'll move on to our regal blue tang or dory. And regal blue tangs are a type of surgeon fish. Surgeon fish get their name from the scalpel like spines along the top and bottom of their bodies. These fish have a sharp and venomous spine at the base of their caudal fin or tail fin to protect themselves from predators. The caudal spine contains a toxin that can cause severe pain to small predators as well as humans. I guess it's a good thing we never saw Dory use her spines in the movies. Um, even though they do have a venomous spine, when faced with a larger predator, regal blue tangs often play dead by lying on their side and remaining motionless until the predator passes by them. They are identified by their bright blue coloring, oval bodies, and yellow flag-shaped tails. Their pectoral fin is also yellow. Adults have a narrow line of dark blue along their dorsal fin that curves back at the tail. Coloration changes as regal blue tangs mature, though in Finding Dory, Baby Dory was blue with a yellow tail, in real life, juvenile blue tangs have bright yellow, or juvenile blue tangs are bright yellow with blue spots by their eyes and their fins have light blue tips. Their bodies become blue as they mature. These fish are somewhat social and they're usually found in pairs or in small groups. Often they form schools with 10 to 12 members. Regal blue tangs don't just hang out with their own kind either. They include several different species of surgeon fish and tang in their schools. Males are often aggressive towards one another and they have sword fights with their caudal spines. They achieve dominance this way. The more dominant males have larger breeding grounds. So that was just a little bit of information about our tang and clownfish here, something you might have not seen in the movies. And I hope you all enjoyed learning about our famous friends and come back for more videos.